Hey guys, Biomager here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest 1. On the last episode, we got the Hero Roto's Legendary Armor, and on this episode, we're going to get the Proof of Lodo, or Roto, rather, as it is spelled in this translation. And there will be a lot of cutting for some grinding, then we're going to go take on the final dungeon. Hopefully I can at least get most of the way through the dungeon in this video. Anyway, to find the seal, we were given the hint that it was so far away from the uh, castle of Ratatone. Now, what does this really mean? Well, I will show you in just a moment. Yeah, like I said, Star Chimeras are nasty. Anyway, I pretty much know exactly where it is. So I'm going to go to that general area before I show you this. But, remember, we withdrew the Princess's Love from the bank. And it tells us our experience name for the next level and the direction of the castle. Simple, so I believe I need to take three steps to the east. And that's all there is to it. We now have the proof. All right. Now I need to do some grinding, because before we enter the final dungeon, I need to be at least level 18. However, I'm probably going to grind a little bit past that, so that I can have all the spells. Speaking of spells, I never showed off sleep. It's kind of self-explanatory, though. I push them to sleep, and they can't act. And I just leveled up. Hooray! Level 16! Some nice stat increases. Nice MP increase! However, no new spells. At level 17... Well, you should definitely never try to enter the final dungeon before level 17. And the reason for that is because at level 17 you learn a very important spell. The spell, if... If, uh... If I'm correct, it's called Heal More. And yeah, this is basically going to give you a full heal. It is absolutely vital to have this spell to beat the game. I've heard of people beating it without that spell, but... You know, I looked around on the internet for a video of it, and I actually could not find one. So... I have my doubts as to whether or not these videos actually, or rather, uh, whether it's actually possible to beat the game without heal more. Because I can tell you right now, the final boss can spam an attack that does more damage than you can heal for, so. Well, I mean, more damage than you can heal for with a medicinal herb or, uh, or uh, the heal spell. Anyways, this is where I'm going to do my grinding. And uh, I'm going to keep recording in case, you know, I actually kill a metal slime. Because I really, I really want to get that on camera. But if I don't, uh, I'll probably give up by the time I've learned all the spells. Because I think that'll be at level 21. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to cut until either I kill a metal slime or I get a level. So, see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I just wanted to show off this new enemy here, a death scorpion. It's really just like your other scorpions and nothing to worry about. Alright, I'm going to cut again until something else relevant comes up. Mm. 
think it had one hit point left. Didn't even give me a chance. Jerk. That's like three in a row. Jeez. Really? Four times? Well, at least that one gave me a chance. Alright guys, I just wanted to show off this enemy real quick, even though I kind of defeated him really fast. This is your run-of-the-mill Chimera. Really not a threat like the other Chimeras are, but it will cast Fireball. So that's something to be careful of. The first time you can run into them, they can actually be a little bit of a challenge. But uh, one thing to note is that that is the enemy that the Wing of Chimera item is based off of, and the uh, the item name actually changes with the uh, monster's name. In Dragon Warrior, as it was called on the NES and Game Boy Color, at least on the NES version, they called those enemies Wyverns, so the item becomes Wing of Wyvern. Anyway, I'll cut again until we get something relevant. Seventeen got some nice stat increases there, and I finally learned heal more. Uh, I'll be showing this spell off later, but I'll just say this: it works exactly like heal, except it heals for about seventy-ish hit points, and it's pretty much a requirement to beat the game. Anyways, cutting until something else relevant happens. Never gonna kill one. <laughs> I had a good feeling about that one, too. Probably only going to be able to kill one with a critical hit. That was literally three in a row. The exact same thing. Shall we go for four? Alright, we hit level 18. Got some nice strength there, some really nice hit points there, but that's about it. Alright, gonna cut until something relevant happens. Oh, 
Holy crap. I finally got one. But I so called that. It took a critical hit to kill one. 775 experience. Alright, now I can confirm that that dragon I mentioned in the exploit does give more experience. But, out of any non-boss monster, metal slimes give more experience than any other. Alright, cutting again until something relevant happens. Alright, we reached level 19. Nice hit points. The other stats weren't so great. But we learned Firebane. This is the last spell of the game and the most powerful attack spell. I'm going to go ahead and show that to you real quick because it's the only time I'm ever going to use it. Great, it's not even going to hit. I'll try anyway. Well, he didn't give me a chance. Alright, now I will show it to you. It's a pretty cool animation there. 65 points of damage. Not bad. Anyway, level 19. I am satisfied with my level. I should be able to beat the game with that. So we're going to return to Ratatome. gonna make a quick trip to the bank oh and just so in case you guys are wondering at s a certain point around like level 17 or 18 every level that you gain will require uh, 4,000 experience points all right we're gonna go ahead and deposit the princess's love And we are going to withdraw the Stones of Sunlight. And that's it. Yep, we're all ready to go. We'll state the end real quick. As you can see, money is not a problem at this point in the game. Not that we need money for anything. As we've already got the best armor, the best shield, the second best weapon in the game. The best weapon you can't actually buy, you have to find it. And it's located in the final dungeon. Anyway, I'm going to cut when we get back to that sage that wanted the harp of Garai over there near uh, Myra. So, see you guys in a bit. Actually, I decided I'm not going to cut. Instead, I'm going to show off the last spell that I haven't used yet, besides heal more. Repel. Now I can freely wander the land without running into many battles. I think it's still possible to get into a battle with a weak monster, but it's very rare. Unfortunately, it doesn't last all that long. We don't need it very long. Alright, here we are. Now, if you plan to use the Silver Harp, which by the time you have the Armor of Lodo or the Magic Armor, you don't want to use the Silver Harp because you want to move around and regain hit points between battles, it shouldn't matter. But uh, if you want to use it, make sure you get all the use you 
want out of it before you talk to this guy, because once you talk to him, that harp is gone forever. Wow, you obtained the silver harp. Now open the treasure box. What? You found the ring cloud staff. Alright, this is the last item we need in order to face the Dragon King. I did not say you could wear off repel. Alright, we've got one more stop before we're ready to go to the final dungeon. And I think you all know where that is. That's right. It's that jerk at the south end of the south continent. That couldn't... He wasn't satisfied just asking us to leave. He threw us out with magic. Like a jerk. But now we have the token of Roto. Which is the proof we need to show that we are a descendant of Roto. Oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot about Repel. The effect wears off. Oh. I guess it doesn't. <laughs> I guess that was just one of those rare instances where you encounter an enemy under its effects. Or maybe they think the mage is strong enough that I should have to fight it at level 19. I don't know. I think that's one of the weakest monsters in this cave, if not the weakest monster in this cave. However, at this point, I don't think Repel is going to do me any good, because the monsters out here are significantly stronger than the mage. But I don't know. Seems like it's still got its effect holding on. I have no idea how much time I've got left on this video, so I'm hoping I don't have to cut out a bunch of stuff just to be able to get it to fit. Alright, here is our last stop. We're going to talk to this jerk again. Descendant of the great hero Roto, now is the time when rain and sun will join. Now give me the staff of rain and the stones of sunlight. Joshua hands the staff of rain and the stones of sunlight to the priest. O oh gods, I offer rain and sun to this holy altar. Now approach the altar and take the rainbow drop. What? You found the rainbow drop! Joshua obtained the rainbow drop. Now, if you think this guy has suddenly changed his tune and become a nice guy, think again. Joshua, this isn't the place to use that. Now go! If I'm not mistaken, he says something much more rude in the NES and Game Boy Color versions. That guy is just a jerk. Plain and simple. Anyways, now it's time to make the trip to the final dungeon. At the last. And it's not that far a trek from here, actually. right over here. Alright. You can't cross here, but you have to to get to the Dragon King's castle. So what you do is you use the Rainbow Drop. And get that spiffy little cutscene and a bridge appears. Hooray. 
And here we are, the final stretch of world map. And in case you were wondering, these monsters are so powerful that Repel isn't going to help us at all. So we're not going to bother recasting it at this point. Alrighty, here we are at the King Dragon's Castle. This is it, the final dungeon. However, I'm going to be cutting this video here. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell your friends about it, and I will see you guys later.